When creating a new project here at SSW, two architectures are often spoken about, clean and vertical slice. Lately, we've been loving vertical slice architecture. So much so, we created a template to get you up and running in minutes. Let's check it out. So, to understand vertical slice architecture, we'll first have a look at its neighbor, clean architecture. Many of you might be familiar with clean architecture where we break up our code based on technical concern uh, into what you might call horizontal layers. So you might have a project or folder for your presentation logic, such as web UI, another project or folder for your infrastructure logic, such as database configuration, and logic such as API endpoints might be kept in another location altogether. Uh, this is a great strategy. Uh, by breaking up our code into small bits, we get a great amount of what you might call decoupling. Uh, it means that our code is smaller and easier to maintain, and it's harder to introduce bugs. The issue that might pop up here, though, is because our code is so small and broken up into so many different places, uh, you might have to have you know four plus files open at a time uh, when you're making changes to one feature, just so you make sure that you've got the full context of what you're doing and, and you're not... Uh, making any errors. This is where vertical slice architecture comes in. Uh, vertical slice architecture takes a bolder approach. By organizing our code into single uh, locations, uh, what you might call vertical slices, uh, we can make it easier to understand the code uh, without losing the separation of concerns that makes clean architecture so powerful. So for those of you who haven't worked with vertical slice architecture before, SSW's created a template which will get you up and running in minutes. So let's have a look. So uh, we're having a look at the readme now. Um, and as you can see in a moment, uh, it's just a few steps to get started. Um, also at the end, we'll be able to look through some of the features like uh, Aspire and Scalar, which are great development tools um, that help us develop our project. Uh, so the first step here, install the template. Great, that's done. I'll just clear the terminal there. We then need to create a new directory for our project and then simply run the .NET new SSW VSA command to create our new architecture. Uh, VSA stands for Vertical Slice Architecture. So let's have a look. So here we have our new project um, and you can see there's a lot of files already created for us. So if we jump over here and we click Heroes, that's one of our feature slices. Uh, Teams is another. Uh, we could go into the commands for Heroes and open up Create Hero Command. Uh, here's where we can see how all of our logic is collected together. So we've got the DTO, which uh, models the return type of the endpoint, the request, which is the arguments that go into it, the endpoint. Uh, we've also configured the airpoint endpoint here, validated it, and then we've also provided the logic uh, for ac uh, accessing the database. So this is great. It's all in one spot. Uh, your clean architecture example here might have you know four plus files open um, to do the same thing. I bet you can also imagine that if you wanted to create a new use case, such as deleting a hero, it'd be as easy as copying this file and just changing a few lines of code. Um, if you wanted to create a new feature, however, we've got a template for that. So let's have a look. So we're at the readme, uh, and if we scroll down, we can see how to add a new feature. So we'll do that now. Let's change into the web API folder, and we will run our new command. So that's sswvsa slice uh, with the feature name of, let's create some villains. So. There we go, and we will open up our project. And if we go to features, we can see our new feature slice here of villains with some new commands and queries created. Uh, if we want to run this project, we use strongly typed IDs. So this provides us some extra type safety when working with uh, IDs for our objects. So in this case, we're going to add a new converter for our villain ID here. We also then need to go and create another migration. Yeah. So this creates our new villains. Uh, now we're ready to play. Uh, if this is the first time you've run this, it might take a moment. So we'll be back in a second. Great, so we've got it up and running and we're greeted with Aspire here. So Aspire is one of those great tools uh, that I mentioned that comes pre-configured out of the box with our template, uh, which is part of the benefit of using a template like this. 
And Aspire is a dashboard for managing resources. So we can see all the containers that are running here, including our databases and um, also the front end web API. Um, we have a number of great tools here. So we can see the console logs right here in the web UI. Uh, we can open up our resources straight like that. Um, and this one, for example, is our instance of Scala. So Scala is a tool that allows us to test our web APIs right here in the browser. So that's great. Um, this all comes out of the box um, and it's a great way to get started on a new project. If you want to see any of the other features, um, they're all documented in our readme over here. So uh, alongside uh, documenting Aspire and uh, Scalar, we've also got uh, documentation on our a bunch of other choices uh, like the strongly typed IDs that I mentioned earlier. So I hope that run through the template gives you a good idea of um, how it might feel to uh, develop with the vertical size architecture template. Um, if you're interested in whether VSA is the right way to go or clean architecture might be the right way to go, SSW has a great rule on this. So do you know how to choose the best software architecture for your system? Um, so this rule's great. It gives an overview on the popular architectures uh, we use here at SSW. Um, and it also gives uh, you an architecture decision tree here, which is a, a higher level way of looking at things. Uh, and it simplifies the process and it's a tool we use and reference all the time here. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at vertical slice architecture and we'll consider using SSW's template for your next project. This is Sam from SSW, signing off. <laughs>